Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentle jammers, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, that Chupacabra guy, Larry. And today we're going to be talking about uh, this video editor thing here that comes as a part of YouTube's backend. They built a free, kind of easy to use, kind of weird and hinky video editor that you, if you don't have access to, like, you know, big premium expensive software, you can upload your footage directly to YouTube so that you can like snip it up and add audio and all that stuff so that, uh, you know, you don't have to buy anything to do it. Now, it's crude and it doesn't have a lot of the functionality and fancy bells and whistles as say, um, my standby Premiere Pro here where I got all this Whoops, all this stuff, but it does, it does okay. I mean, that is the truth. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to show you kind of how to get started using this software and all the stuff that it puts at your disposal, like, uh, you know, free music that you can use, uh, you can make a slideshow, you've got free music, you got different effects and can add text and stuff. But, um, I'm, I always base my tutorials around, like, a real-world goal, and I fucked up when I uploaded my Soma Episode 8 video, which uh, is already out in its final form, but I used the in-YouTube editor, because let's, let's click the button here. So, I forgot to do two things. I forgot to remove the dead space at the front of the video when I exported it, and as you see here, I forgot to put in my handy dandy intro. You know, this intro where I have my chupacabra self. See, watch. Look, I'm so sexy and I'm like blue and I have like a red tongue. And there's footage in the background. I forgot to put that into my video. So, um, I need to put that in and I need to remove all of the gook from the background. So, what you do, whoops. I don't need that open anymore. That's the same video, just on the YouTube page. Uh, so what you do, is you go in here, and you, you hunt through the 50 zillion videos. Let's, here it is. You find the videos that you want after you've opened up the video editor. In fact, let's title this the, um, Soma Fix Demo. Sorry, I'm a little belchy today. Or this evening, it's, uh, 12, 17 in the morning, technically. Um, we're gonna title our project, whatever, so that, you know, it can be saved here. Like, I fixed a couple other videos this way, my Path of Exile videos, and a Trove video. But we're gonna name this the Soma Fix Demo, and once you label it, it'll get automatically saved as a draft, so you can come back to it later if you need to. So, First thing, I'm not gonna grab the Soma video just yet. I'm gonna grab my Warhammer Vermintide video and slap it right here. And... No, I don't need that. Give me my... Give, there we go. I'm gonna grab it, the six second intro that I have at the beginning of all my videos. And I'm gonna time it till it gets to like the black part at the end. Right there. And then I'm gonna click this little... It, it might be hard for you to see, but there's a scissor icon in the middle of this blue bar. And when you click that, it cuts the footage so that it's two separate video files that exist in cyberspace. So I'm gonna click this button. And there, it's two pieces of footage, and I can hover over the rest of this Vermintide video. Actually, I need to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hover over the rest of this Vermintide video, and I'm going to click the X to delete it from the project. Unfortunately, for some reason, YouTube, every time you make a slight change to this, like, they constantly, um, re-preview the clip that you're trying to make. So we've got my intro, which, come to think of it, I should probably just upload my intro separately so I have it pre-condensed for future usage. But I'm gonna grab that uh, Soma Episode 8 video, and I'm gonna dump it right here so that I can clip it, or clip out that empty black space at front of the video. So let me zoom out a little bit. 
Now, ideally, as you would work on these videos, you'd get like a little preview of the footage, so you could kind of zero in exactly on the part where the black ends. So we just kind of click and drag here. We watch the preview window to try and figure out exactly what point the black stops being a thing. So let's see here. Here's the black part. It's like 36 seconds, 38. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like 37, 36, 37 is the is the the seconds where that happens. Yeah, right here at 38. So let's uh let's clip it right there. I mean, this doesn't have to be exact because this is just showing you guys how all this stuff works. So now I will I've got that piece of the Soma video that's just empty space and I'm going to delete that. And now for all intensive purposes my video is done, I've made the edits that I want to make, and now YouTube will reprocess this video so that I can publish it. Now, why do I do this instead of just re-exporting it and then re-uploading it? Well, one of Larry's biggest challenges with the YouTube space, and also like any video work that I do with clients, is I have a very limited bandwidth. Like, I have four megabytes per second down at, uh, on a good day, and then I have like just under one megabyte per second upload uh, on a good day. And that, that takes a while to upload stuff. So if I can use YouTube's back end to do some of the work for me so I don't have to re-upload it, then that's fine. I can just part around the internet while I wait for it to process. Then I can schedule it and it'll post automatically. Isn't that handy? But I suppose while we're here, it would be really cool if I talked about all this other stuff that we've got here. So, this stuff isn't the greatest, but something that YouTube tries to provide you is if you just need some imagery to talk over when you're trying to make like a podcast video or something, or you're maybe trying to do an interview and you just need some stuff in the background to fill space that isn't just like a still picture, YouTube has got access to a whole bunch of like, you know, Creative Commons, uh, royalty-free stock um, footage you can use. So, I mean, you got like the San Francisco Bay Bridge, you got some flowers, some violet flowers, a couple holding hands. Just some pretty, pretty standard stuff, really. Um, so you could, you know, you could pick this up. Let's just, uh, let's throw some flowers in there. So there's the preview of the flowers. Let me get back into the timeline. Go to the flowers, video editor. I want to I'm going to clip it here, so I cut off the first five seconds of those flowers, because those first five seconds, they've been judging Larry. And then, well, we'll add, like, uh, this amount of flowers, and we'll delete that second half, because we only need... A man only needs so many flowers in his life. There you go. So let's say that I'm making an outro for my video. Um, I decided that I wanted an outro section where I could, like, say words and, uh, like, put up a, a video, like, a, a piece of text to say, like, Hey, I got this thing going on, um, last minute. If you want to check me out streaming on twitch.tv slash flowermurder, um, why don't you do that? So how do we do that, then? Well, um, we'll add some sound to this in a second, but what I want to do is I want to add, like, a transition effect. That's all cool. So I'm going to grab this, um this crossfade grid effect that'll fill, like, you know, swizzle in my flower footage with a cool transition animation. This grid one is probably pretty cool. So you pick this up and you drag it in between the two clips, and that way it overlaps partially in the previous footage and also in the second piece of the footage. So it's a clean animation. We'll drop that right there. Alright, don't- don't be like that, YouTube editor, you're a little- it's a little wonky to work with, I won't lie to you guys, it's a little weird. But let's see what that transition looks like between these two segments. Um, let's go. Alright, cat- I'm just gonna mute it, cause you- you don't- you don't need to hear Larry twice, that's- that's not a- that's not a thing that you need- This is- why is this so far back? Man, the preview in YouTube editor is not the best. Is not at all. So basically, it's showing like this end 
menu all the way back here, but that menu doesn't show up till all the way over here. That's not- that's not really how previewing in, uh, video editors is supposed to work. So, up oh, there you go. It's got a cool grid pattern, where it phases in and out. It's fancy. See, we're getting fancy, we're professional, that's the shit that we want. So now I need to add, um, some sort of centered text, be like, I, sir, am, uh, touching butts over at Twitch. So we want to do that, and I'm gonna add it right here, and then what, uh, let's add, what do I add, oh, here's the text. Text is kind of hard to see, let's zoom in there. Don't do that, YouTube. We talked about this. You're being a- you're being a pain in my booty. So how- oh, here we go. So you- you click on a little blue box that it gives you at the bottom of this clip. I- it, it can be hard to see. And um, then we say... Check out my super cool flower murder game stream. And that should appear. Oh, that's super big, though. We need to make that text smaller. Let's make that super small. No, that's too small. Need that just regular small? Do you not offer me the ability to... to wrap around or something? That's super annoying. Uh, Open Sans is a pretty good font. I like Open Sans. I've used it for a client's logo once upon a time. Uh, let's make the text like a cool blue color. Let's align that to the center. And let's uh, let's just change this text then. Let's like uh, hey, dudes and ladies, I'm totes streaming all the times on my uh on flower murder. See, it's the maximum number of. Alright, well, I guess we can't have the flower murder thing, but at least it's gonna say that we're- we're streaming right now, there at the bottom. See, hey dudes and ladies, I'm tote streaming all the times, and then once this video is published, you could go into the annotation section. Um, let me open up a video for you. <coughs> hmm. Uh, you can go into the annotation section, you can like jump to the back and then you can add like a box so that people can click on that box. Like here, let's pretend like this big block of text from Soma uh, is what I want to link. So we add this box here, this spotlight box, and we drag it over here. Behave yourself, YouTube. We talked about this. You're being spicy again. What did I tell you about being spicy? All right, so we have this te this box around our text, and we can make it like uh, an, an outline of blue, and then this can link to like uh, my YouTube channel, YouTube dot dot com slash channel slash Larry Chupacabra, the best guy ever. Isn't that cool? All right, so. In this case, we're basically making like an end slate, so this would be like a, a thing you could do. And then let's add um, another piece of text. Let's add like some slide in text back here. Because we can, why not? I'm, I'm fancy. Fancy. Um, wait, wait. Too much text. I Oh, I guess you can only have one text per little clip at a time. Well, that's annoying. But hey, at least you can see a side-by-side -side to kind of preview it. So that's kind of nifty. Alright, no, I'm fine with that. Alright, so that, that'll be our outro slate. In fact, let's let, let's make that outro slate something else. Um... Let's just do this banner thing, because that's the easiest for people to read. So now we can have, like, a message to our subscribers that are watching our video, or your video, that you guys and gals are doing at home. And then you can turn that into a link if you want. And then you could even dice this up a couple of times and add a few more messages, like we could, uh... Hold on, YouTube, you're being a pain in my ass. So we could actually increase the length of this video, or this section, to 17 seconds, and then... We can move our cursor back to the middle, we'll clip it again, and now we can add another message here at the end. So, like... 
catch you on Twitch, you funky Murdertron 9000s. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure that's not the weird, that's not weird. Alright, yeah, so we have like a message at the back over some flowers, god knows why. Also, um, my, my PC is upgrading to Windows 10 currently, so it's gonna beep in the background. That's why I'm doing this, I got nothing else to do at 12.30, wait until I feel tired to go to bed. So, uh, what else we got? Oh shit, we can add crazy filters. Oh man. Wait, nope, come back here. I want crazy filters, give me crazy filters. Oh yeah, give me a heat map filter, give me that. Yes! We have a sci-fi flower! So basically, you can Instagramify your clips individually. So let's go over to Soma. Let's go to filters. I can go to... I don't know. Why don't we make it look like it's like, uh, Mad Max? Let's throw this... Let's throw this uh, puppy dog in there. Oh yeah, let's see what this looks like. Now, I wouldn't go too crazy with things like these weird effects, but if you got, like, clips of a bunch of, like, weird, goofy, dinky games that you want to clip together and make it seem like a weird parody, like, montage, where you're, like, role-playing that you're in the wastelands, even though you're clearly inside of a child's birthday party, this would be perfect for that sort of thing. You've also got some quick fixes here. Uh, let's... Can I remove... How do I remove the filter? Get, get out of here. No filter. Go away, filter. I don't... No filter. No filter. Stop it. Alright, well, the filter and me don't get along, clearly. Oh, we just click it again to unapply it. Okay, that's what you do. Sweet. Um, so you can also do quick fixes in here. Like, you can say... Auto fix, which will let YouTube analyze the clip and use its fancy YouTube brain to try and fix things like the lighting. But unfortunately, if you don't know what you're doing, see, Soma is a dark and spooky game, and YouTube is trying to brighten it up like it's daytime outside. And now everything is looking all crazy and blown out. It's way too bright. It looks kind of gray and washed out. You don't really want to do that. But if you, if you see anything that's wrong, like maybe you want to stabilize the video because you were outside with your camcorder and you got crazy jitterfingers, you can like stabilize the video so it's uh, smoother. But if you're not, you know, if it's not like a handheld video camera, don't do anything crazy like that. That's bad. Um, let's see, we can increase the volume a bit and then we can pan to the, to a direction. Yeah, this is... This is all sorts of crazy. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, to robot... Oh, that's right, Pan moves the, the audio, so it sounds like it's only coming out one of your ear holes. I gotcha. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff that we can do here. You can correct any of the individual clips with effects, filters, text, audio, anything that you want. And then you can also go into here. And let's see here, let's get this precipice noise. What does that precipice sound like? Went too far? Pres precipice. Give me precipice. You're not giving me precipice. Why would you do that? I thought we were friends, YouTube. I thought we was friends. Uh, what sounds sci- oh, Here it is, precipice. Yeah, that sounds good. We can throw that at the bottom. Uh, let's, uh, throw that in here. Add that. Oh, I guess you gotta click the add button. And then we'll move it. Let me move the thing. Let me- there we go. I wanna move it back here. No. I wanna move it. I wanna move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. To the back of the video. Don't be like that. Don't- don't be like that. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, YouTube. Uh, let's see. Let's move- Can I not move this? What is your dealio, Fofilio? I guess I can't... Oh. YouTube. This is why dogs bite people, YouTube. This is why dogs Art bite as a people. Species. All right, I'm gonna mute myself, because we don't want to hear me talk. Except, you do want to hear me talk, because I'm explaining this. But we should be able, right here... I guess it only wants to let you... It only wants to let you put, like, a big fat long track underneath of everything. Maybe... 
I can... Here we go. Maybe I can... No, I guess I can't. That's poopy. Alright, that's not great. So you can't add audio anywhere in the in the track. But you can add, like, a background ambiance if you're playing, like, a game that doesn't have sound. Or if you're talking over, like, about the latest news and you don't want to hear, like, the, the background noise in your office because you don't have a smart way of removing that. You can do that here. You got animations. You've got Creative Commons stock footage, which admittedly is probably not all that useful to most gamers. You can add a bunch of photos to create an automatic slideshow. It's not the world's most, like, awe-inspiring piece of equipment, this editor, but it's free. You get it by just having a YouTube account, so why not try and make use of it if you need it? Um, I use it to clean up shit if something's wrong with the front of my video. In fact, one of my own Chupacabra Tutorials videos I put the wrong intro at the front of it, so I had to uh, take the intro from another video and put it in there so it was my tutorial intro as opposed to my Chupacabra's Lair video. So, now that this is done, we hit Create Video, and YouTube will use its sea of hamsters and little tiny macaque monkeys and wheels, and they will reprocess this video so that I can share it with people. And God help us all, I might just do that when this video's over, or uploaded, this tutorial. Um, and you can see it. And then this will just, like, appear under my video manager at the top. Let's see here, there you go. Soma Fix Demo, Preparing Upload. Um, basically, it's processing the video so you can see it. I'll link you to it, I'll unlist this video, and you can check it out. And that, in a nutshell, is the video editor. It's down here on the sidebar under Create. Video editor. And you can just put stuff in here. It's fancy. It's nice. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for all your editing needs. I'd get something like Premiere. But while you're waiting to do something like that, to acquire, in parentheses, a piece of software to help you do that, I'm not, I'm gonna look the other way. You do what you need to do with that torrent program if you have to. But if you can buy it, like, buy a cheap editor, do it, you know? Don't, try not to pirate stuff, it's bad. Um, sometimes it can bite you in the ass. Um, but other than that, yeah, I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Thanks for joining me for another tutorial video talking about the built-in YouTube video editor. That's, that's more or less the bread and butter, how it works. It's not too, ex um, excessively, um, hard to get used to. It's just a little hinky because it runs in the browser. But yeah, until next time, I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you're looking for some other tutorials on understanding other information, like maybe your analytics or your channel settings or, I don't know, how to handle um, negative toxic comments in your community section or live streaming, I have live streamed um, via proxy, so I understand how that works. So if that's what you're interested in, let me know, and I might just make some of those tutorials that just came out of my mouth anyway. Because actually, some of those sound useful. So, if, if this stuff has been helpful, like, subscribe, share me with your friends if they need help with video stuff too. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good one, everybody, and maybe think about checking out Larry's uh, gaming channel. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Because, uh, you know, that helps him out a whole bunch, and who knows, maybe you like my shenanigans. It's hard to say. So, later, everybody. Bye!